This is a video to show you how to find the less than cumulative frequency distribution. We are given the test result of 50 students. In the result, we have one student score between 1 to 10 marks. Two students score between 11 to 20 marks. One student score between 21 to 30 marks. Two students score between 31 to 40 marks, and so on. We are going to compute the less than cumulative frequency distribution, which is the table on the left hand side. First, we must compute the class boundaries. So over here, these are called classes. So for example, the first class is 1 to 10. First class. The second class is 11 to 20. So all together, there are 10 classes. All right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of them. For each class, there are class limit and class boundary. So for example, in the second class, the 20 is called the upper class limit. Where 11 is the lower class limit. So each class has two limits. One upper limit, one lower limit. Let me erase all the writing first and reorganize again to talk about the class boundary. So I have write down, let's say first class is from 1 to 10. Second class is from 11 to 20. Third class is 21 to 30, right, for example. So I have used this to, to tell you what is boundary, right? Now, the boundary is the center, say for example, over here, the first class has a boundary here, which is 10.5. The center between 10 and 11 is 10.5. And the second class, another boundary here, center of 20 and 21 is 20.5. So you can repeat the same argument. The next boundary for third class is there's 30.5 here. And then for the first class, there's 0 0.5 here. 0 0.5. So 0 0.5, 10.5 is a boundary for the first class. 10.5, 20.5 is the boundaries for the second class. 20.5, 30.5 is the boundaries for the third class. Now, for the cumulative frequency distribution, you write down all the boundaries you have here. Less than 0 0.5, less than 10.5, less than 20.5, less than 30.5. So you write down all the boundaries until less than 100.5. Okay, let me erase this class boundary again. We're going to calculate the less than cumulative frequency distribution. First, we count how many students score less than 0 0.5 marks. Since no student score less than 0 0.5 marks, the minimum is between 1 to 10. So there are 0 students here score less than 0 0.5 marks. Next, we count how many students score less than 10.5 marks. Now, we know that there is only one student between 1 to 10 marks. And 
two students between 11 to 20 marks. So actually, there is only one student here, less than 10.5 marks. So the number of students less than 10.5 marks is 1. Then we count. Next one. How many students score less than 20.5 marks? Then you look at the table again. We find that there are 5 students score between 1 to 10, 2 students between 11 and 20. So all together, 3 students now score less than 20.5 marks. So the number of students in this case score less than 20.5 is. Three. Then we next find out how many students score less than 30.5 marks. There are one student from 21 to 30. So the number of students score less than 30.5 marks is now equal to 1 plus 2 plus 1, 4. So this is for now. So if you continue the process, let's see how many students score less than 40.5 marks. So the number of students who score less than 40.5 marks, we can count from here. All together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 of them. So this will be 6. Then continue. How many score less than 50.5 marks? There are additional 3 students score between 41 to 50. So this add up to 6 plus 3, you get 9. Then how many score less than 60.5 marks? They have additional 7 students between 51 to 60. So, all together, add an R7 to 9, you get 16. 16 students score less than 60.5 marks. Then you can continue. The number of students score less than 70.5 marks. You have another 11 students add on to 16. So you get 27 now. How many score less than 80.5 marks? You have another 13 students here, between 70, 71 to 80. 13 plus 27, they got 40. How many score less than 90.5? You have 9 students between 81 to 90. So add another 9, we get 49. And then finally, those who score less than 100.5. There is only one student between 91 to 100. So add one more, there are 50 students. So all together, there are 50 students and you have a table of less than cumulative frequency distribution. Please note that this less than cumulative frequency distribution always start from zero and end at the total count, which is 50 in this case.